Um, oh, let's just boost. Boost, baby! Oh, I'm boosting into drifts. What is happening? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into. Oh, look at this. This is a, a little mini game that we get to play. This is what, like Formula One Racing, the arcade game or something like that? I'm actually kind of intrigued by this, but uh, we're going to move on to Ridge Racer. I'm going to go ahead and press select here. Namco proudly presents Ridge Racer, also known as Ridge Racers in Japan. This is an arcade racing game for the PSP from Namco. Not to be confused with Ridge Racer or Ridge Racer. Seriously, guys? What? You can't name your games a different name? Also, can we talk about the localization for a second here? The game's called Ridge Racers in Japan and Ridge Racer in North America. Meaning, they looked at the title Ridge Racers... Ooh, sexy legs. And they looked at the title Ridge Racers and they thought, No, North America is not going to be able to deal with plurals. They don't know about plurality. Let's go ahead and rename it Ridge Racer. Because we only have two other games. Well, I guess we only had one at the time. But we only have one other game named Ridge Racer. Why not call this one Ridge Racer as well? Titles seem to work well. People seem to like it. Let's just call it the same thing. What is going on in the world of video games? Can you not name your games with unique titles? Be creative, guys. Be creative, Namco. Come on. Anyway, this uh, scantily clad lady is like diving off of a car. I do not know what is happening, but I'm okay with it. I don't know how this factors into Ridge Racing at all. Let's just go ahead and start the game here. Ridge Racer is uh, a game about drifting. It is a game that has a nitro meter that you earn by drifting. So you want to drift to earn the nitro and then nitro into drifts and then earn more nitro and back and forth and forever around you go. Um, so let's go ahead and give this a shot here. I have played other Ridge Racers. I think I played Ridge Racer 4 before. Um, oh, we need to make a profile here. Not a problem. Um, I think I... Oh, wait, driver named Zevius. Let's just go with that. Uh, go ahead, accept. We will go ahead and accept this. And do I want to save this data? Yes, go ahead. Why not save complete? So, yes, we have played other Ridge Racers, but I have not played the original Ridge Racer. I don't think. Actually, now I'm doubting myself. Maybe I did. But it's amusing that I'm playing another game called Ridge Racer, which came out like 11 years later. And seven years later, they'd release another Ridge Racer on the PS Vita. So go figure. Okay, our options are single race, world tour. Let's try a single race here. Oh, these are mostly locked, are they? I kind of feel like I have very few options here. Oh, no, there's a number that are open. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and play a handful of races. Because I've never been amazing at Ridge Racer. And this way, this will give us a nice sampling of the different kinds of tracks that we have to play with. So, we are this. these different cars have virtually the exact same statistics. I like this one. It looks more like kind of a race car. It's got uh, writing and ads all over it. I'll take it. I kind of imagine doing this to your own car. Like, this looks totally normal to racing cars. But imagine you just, like, pimped out your own ride and put, like, ads all over it. I wonder if you could do that. I wonder. I, I think I have heard there are companies that you can uh, get paid to drive around your normal everyday car with ads all over it. Honestly, I would do that. Who cares, right? I would do that. Ooh, look at the beach. We're racing on the beach here in uh, lovely Daytona, I think. Okay, very quickly, we're going to have to figure out what the uh, braking button is. So I know how to... Uh, know how to boost or I know how to drift I guess we got to figure this out all right um, I th think it's yeah there it is it's square oh we're boosting we're earning nitro this is all planned oh god face the right way I can't oh my god we we earned almost a full tank of nitro doing that and now when we need to drift we just ping pong off of the railing off to a good start okay how do we boost got to be a button here. Oh, I like this view better. Okay, here we go. Uh, how did I do that uh, drifting thing? Oh, there's an airplane. What is the boost button? Oh, okay, we're drifting. Oh, we're drifting a lot. Do real cars do this? 
Holy crap. All right. I'm somehow a god at drifting. I can't believe I didn't crash in either of those places. Hey, look, there's a mini game in the bottom left corner. So, interesting little uh, trivia about Namco. Um, I don't know if it's... Oh, I can't even turn. I'm try I was trying to turn there. I was holding right the whole time. Okay, boost. Use the boost. Oh, there we go. I'm, I'm boosting. I'm boosting. When you're boosting, you cannot earn drift. So that's the thing. I think it was one of the bumpers that did it. But interesting little trivia about Namco. They actually, for a long time, and they might still, I'm not 100% sure on this, but for a long time, they held the trademark on minigames. Meaning, oh my god, the drifting in this game is insane. Meaning that if you wanted to make a, a mini game on a load screen, you would have to license that ability from Namco. So like a lot of times in video games, you know, when you're like waiting on a load screen, people have thought, why don't the programmers put like a really, really basic mini game in here just so that players have something to do while they're waiting. It's a great design choice in the few games I've ever encountered that have uh, done that. Oh, the nitrous is ready. All right, do it. Oh, I see. You can only use the nitrous when the tank is full. Gotcha. Apparently, if you use the nitrous to drift into a turn, you get like an ultra nitrous boost thing. So I don't know if I'll ever be able to do that, but it's a thing. Um, anyway, yeah. So de so people have often wondered, you know, like, why don't developers include little mini games on load screens to make the load screens seem less painful? And many developers would like to do that. But the thing is, for years, decades even, Namco held the trademark on, on that technology. So I, I feel like that is, I don't know. I don't know about that. Like, you know, like trademarks and stuff. I get businesses have to be able to trademark their technology, but it's like, that seems like a pretty basic idea. I don't know if a company should have been allowed to trademark that. Anyway, they did. And so a reason that for decades, we gamers have suffered through load screens without mini games is because of Namco, because they trademarked it, and I guess other companies didn't want to license it, or Namco wouldn't. I don't, I don't know 100%. Maybe Namco is totally willing to license it, and just most developers just didn't want to bother to pay. But yeah, it's kind of a, an interesting situation of the entire gaming community being held back by like one trademark that one company held. So there you go. Um, but if you do play Namco games like Ridge Racers, they do tend to have. Um, oh, let's just boost. Boost, baby! Oh, I'm boosting into drifts. What is happening? I cannot stop drifting. I'm a drift addict. Um, but yes, yeah, so if you do play Namco games, you probably have noticed that they typically have old arcade games that you can play during load screens, and that is why. That is a little bit of gaming trivia for you. I'm pretty sure we encountered this on the last Ridge Racer game we played. We could play, like, Galaxian or something like that while we were waiting for the game to load. So that's why we had that other little arcade game at the uh, title screen here today. Wow. I I'm honestly am a lot better with the drifting than I thought I would be. I think the game the game is a little generous with the uh, with the sort of drift mechanic. Like in a normal if this was a, a racing simulator, any of these drifts that I did, I would have like wiped out hardcore. But this game is like very generous with the uh, with the impact of drifting. Like, especially when I'm on a straightaway and I'm drifting hard left to hard right, uh, and I'm not crashing, that's the game just giving it to me. Just letting me have a freebie. So there you go. Um, we almost made it into the top three. I feel like that is as close to a victory as I, w I was expecting for us. So there we go. All right, well, you know what? As we play a few more races here, maybe I'll get a little better. And then we can, you know, eventually win a race. Okay, so that was the Seaside Route 765. Let's try Sunset Drive here, and let's try a different kind of car. Ooh. Oh, uh, these are all locked. Uh, yeah, I, I, know, I know it can't be selected. Let me go back. A machine class. What do we eventually race mechs? Why don't you just say cars? A machine class. It's an odd way of phrasing it. Okay. I see. So, the fact that we, we like we can pick different races, but we can only race. Oh god. We can only race. So I'm. By the way, if you're wondering what's happening here, I'm pressing circle on the controller and it's selecting it as okay. 
X or circle, both are kind of select in this. I hate that. Circle is supposed to be go back. I have to go down to back and press X or circle. So, um, so since we have to unlock stuff and I want to see some different cars, let's actually go on a world tour. Why not? I don't know if we're going to ever get to a second car today, but at least this will give us a shot. So we are entering the car matrix here. Um, and we are going to go in and race on the ridges. And we're a single racer. Don't think that we're more than one person. This isn't Ridge Racers, okay? I don't know where you got that idea. Maybe you're living in Japan. For some reason, there's a misprint on your box. This is Ridge Racers. But believe me, we are a singular person. Don't confuse us here. All right, view prizes. There are no prizes. Well, that's disappointing. Let's earn some prizes on the basic tour. Uh, all right, we've practiced Seaside Route. Okay, all these are locked, so we get another shot at Seaside Route, and then we'll race on some other streets. Let's pick a different car this time. Drift type, standard, mild, Dine. Let's give Dine a shot. I'm probably going to be horrible, and I'm going to really suck at it, but we'll give it a shot. So those cars actually did have a difference. The difference was their drift ability, not their top speed or anything. Again, this game is really focused on drift so it's all about can you drift oh and our speedometer is like digital here let's go gun it all right so here's my strategy win come in first i hate how they start us off in like 11th place kind of feels like uh like i feel like the guy in first place has kind of an unfair advantage i'm not gonna lie but i mean i guess it gives us something to work for Oh, there we go. Reasonable drift there. I feel like the drifting does not feel all that different from the other car. But we're still early on here. Um, I like that we did have one race to kind of, you know, figure out the controls and, like, get all the bad racing out of our system. Oh, God, as I say that, we are... Somehow that did not kill us. There's a plane landing. The plane's distracting me. Look how slow this guy's going, dude. You've got to accelerate in this game. Oh, that was a sweet corner. Oh, God, but I bashed into that guy. Okay, I don't need the nitro yet. I'm going to try and earn three nitro tanks and then just gun it. Oh, I think that guy's nitroing. He's trying to get away from us. He's like, I heard this gaming J guy's a psycho. I don't want to be anywhere near him. All right, that was a pretty good drift. I feel like the drifting is easier than I thought. Like, I kind of went into this game being like, drifting? I can barely drive a car when we don't have to drift. In video games, that is. In real life, I'm a fine driver. Oh, that was a nice kind of jump there. I mean, I'm nothing special, but I'm I'm fine. I'm normal. I, I, I'm like, you know, I don't get into accidents. Uh, in fact, I've only ever once been in an accident. It was when I was very young, was driving my friend's car in fact, so it was actually horrible because I screwed up my friend's car. And uh, it was a rainy day, uh, and I had driven us out uh, because he didn't have his license yet, but his parents still bought him a car. Used car, not like a fancy new one. He wasn't rich or anything. Um, we were driving. I, I drove us out to meet up with some friends. We were driving back, and it was rainy, and there was a uh, cab driver in front of us, and he came to a red light. And it was the kind of light that, like, I was behind him and I was going to go through the light. So, like, I thought we had plenty of time. But he slammed on his brakes and stopped at the red light. And I was just too close to him because, you know, I was young and stupid and wasn't paying attention. And uh, I sort of bumped into him. And, in fact, his car was more or less fine. But, you know, the front of my friend's car was really screwed up. Um, and... I think it costs like a thousand bucks or fifteen hundred bucks to fix the car, and uh, I paid for it, you know, because it was my fault. Um, actually, well, I shouldn't say that. I said I told his parents I would pay for it, and what ended up happening, his parents said, you know, you're young, you're still in university, we appreciate it. It was an accident. We'll pay for half of it. So, um, so yeah. So I still, you know, had to own up to what I'd done, even though it was a mistake. Um, but luckily his parents, you know, kind of bailed me out a bit. So, um, yeah, anyway, that's just, that's just the story of when Gaming J was young and got into his one and only car accident. Wasn't even in my car. 
Uh, never actually been in an accident in my own car. So there you go. But, oh, I thought that was the final lap. I was about to say something cool and then I just screwed up. Who are we kidding? I wasn't gonna say anything cool. All right, let's start using our nitros because we are on our last lap here. Oh God. We should uh, be burning through these things. We are first, by the way. So I feel like that one practice round actually really did significantly help us. I don't know what difficulty level we're racing on. I didn't even see an option for difficulty level, so I'm just assuming that this is uh, this is easy. But uh, a win is a win. I'm totally gonna take it. Oh, if we could nitro, if we could boost just a bit, we could nitro again. But I guess we didn't need it. Man, we crushed them. We crushed them. The next place guy was nowhere even near me. Okay, I don't care about the replay. They always show you a replay. Kind of, It's kind of like a racing game thing. You know, like imagine you beat a level in Mario and they were like, time for the replay. You know, like no, what other video game do you win? And then there's a replay of you playing. It, it really is kind of like a racing game phenomenon, right? Like, like, can you guys think of any other games where after you win a level, it shows you a replay of you playing that level? I don't know why it's a racing game thing. Um, like, I'm thinking there are some sports games where you can, like, uh, go and rewind and, like, watch your plays, like hockey, like NHL hockey games and stuff. But I can't think of too many other games. Like, none come to mind. Um, I think maybe it's a thing because people who play racing games like to also watch racing. Um, and so watching the replay lets you, like, watch the highlights of, of your activity. But, I mean... Besides hockey games, what other sports games have replays? Maybe some basketball games? I can't, th again, I can't think of any specific examples. I'm just assuming. I'm like, they must. Like NBA, certainly some NBA games must have like replay features and stuff. Oh God, I'm onto the grass. I'm drifting on grass. Okay, that's going to cost me a bit. Hey, there's a helicopter like really low to the ground there. That's weird. Man, you get up there, man. Don't. Don't, don't hover that close to the ground. You're going to hit some of us racer dudes. Us kindly gentlemen who only want to drift. Oh, yeah. All right. Should we use the nitrous? I think not yet. Oh, God. Drift. These turns are way too gentle. I need, like, a hard turn. I'm just going to start drifting for fun. We we okay. This is kind of earning some nitro, but it's also slowing us down a lot. So I don't know if that was worth it in the end. These turns. This is like a Sunday drive. This is like an old gentleman's kindly, uh, you know, racing circuit. I don't know what to call it. There's just not opportunities to drift like I want there to be. All right, we're somehow, we're just continually drifting somehow. I'm going to try and keep this up for a bit. Earn that orange tank. There we go. We've, we have we drifted through that hole straight away. Was that a good thing? I don't know. Hey, okay, come on, earn that second tank. All right, we have two tanks. Once we get around, oh, that's a sweet one. Boom! Now we're going to nitro because this is all just a straightaway. Boom! Keep it going! Oh, yeah! Eat my dust, buddy! Eat my dust, damn it! He got in my way. He didn't eat my dust. I bit his butt. Okay, he's firing nitro at me, too. Or his car's just on fire, one or the other. I'm waving at all the people as I pass, by the way. Uh, my, guy, my character here, he is a sucker for, uh, for the attention of his adoring fans. My guy is called Race Monster. That's his uh, nickname because he's a monster on the uh, on the courts. All right, here we go. We're totally boosting this. Or do we even need to? I was going to say we're going to boost past this guy, but, like, he's not even going fast. Okay, we're boosting. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh, the boost. The boost combined with the drift really screwed me up. That was like a... It didn't even... Oh, God. It, like cost me time and it made up the time it cost me so it's like the net effect is like nothing all right I, i'm you know what i'm getting too too antsy i'm like because we're, we're still only fifth i would like to be like fourth or third at this point because like how many more laps are there 
I can't even tell. I don't even see like a lap meter anywhere. Like seriously, I'm kind of looking. Uh, may oh, maybe there's three laps because there's three times. In which case, we actually have plenty of time to catch this first place uh, dude, but still. We don't want to take it for granted. Ugh, the straightaways. That's where you need to nitro. I need, I need to remember that. Okay, we're only going to nitro from now on when we get to the straightaways. Yes, give me that sweet, sweet nitro. It, it's kind of a, an interesting game mechanic that the more you drift, the more you earn the nitro. Because it really encourages you to actually try and drift and not just, you know, ping pong your way around all the corners like I would normally do in a racing game. Oh, that was some sweet drifting, though. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Hopefully, we can earn an orange nitro container from this turn here. Yes, we have it. All right, once we get around this bend, we're going for it. We're going full nitro. Oh, we almost hit that guy. All right, yeah! Oh, I'm waving. I'm nitroing past the crowd. Race Monster loves the glory. The thrill of it all. Okay, here's the third place, guys. So we got this. And the first place is that red dot, meaning that we can totally catch these guys. We just gotta kind of like... Keep, oh, that was a sweet drift. I'm actually really liking the drift mechanic. I thought I'd be horrible at it. But I am actually really liking it. It's not that hard. It, it might look impressive. I don't know if it looks impressive or not, but like it's very easy to control, actually, once you kind of get a feel for it. The game is very forgiving when it comes to uh, drifting. I mean, this is an arcade-style racer. It's not like a racing simulator. So these aren't... It doesn't have like proper, appropriate you know, physics for like how a car would actually handle. It's far more forgiving, obviously. And I'm okay with that. Okay, here's where we want a nitro. Let's try and uh, make up some distance here. Okay, we're gonna nitro again. Here we go. Okay, we are in second. Oh, and there's a first place dude. You jerk! Get back over here! I think he's nitroing. The back of his car is, has blue flames. Oh, but we took it! We took first place from that guy! Yes! The power of drifts! I have it somehow. Oh, I could nitrous. Let's do it. Yeah! A need for speed! Oh, we got this. There's no way he's catching up to me. I'm just gonna drift for fun now. If I could earn one more tank, I would do it. Oh, I did! Nitro! Oh, and I'm drifting and I'm nitroing. Oh, yes. Where's the finish line? Yeah, that was such a show for the crowd. Yeah! I earned almost another, well, not even almost, I was going to say. Almost another nitro tank, but I'm like a quarter of the way in. All right, we can skip the replay because we were there. Dude, we were there. We raced that whole race. You don't have to show me what I just did. I lived it. I don't know who's watching the replays, but... I, again, I was there, man. I did the racing. All right. Now we're racing in beautiful. They always start us in 12th place. Can I occasionally be started in 6th place? I've been consistently placing first. Haven't I kind of earned it? I guess, you know what, maybe the only way this is acceptable is if you came in 12th, if they put you in first place at the beginning of the race. You know what I mean? Like if it's if you're placed at the opposite of where you placed in the last race, then being 12th is fine. But they started me 12th on the very first race. So I feel like I'm owed a freebie. I should be started first on some other race to even it out, you know? I mean, I guess the challenge of the video game is to not do that. But nonetheless, I'm just thinking for fairness sake. Imagine there was a guy who raced in NASCAR and he always had to start in the 12th pit place position from the starting uh, thing, you know? Like... That's not fair. It's not fair. I mean, usually don't they have like, oh God, usually they have like qualifying rounds or something where you just do a single race by yourself and the fastest time uh, basically goes in the first place position, I believe. So you just sort of have a preliminary race, just a sort of a time trial to see who's the fastest. All right, we're boosting past these jerks. 
There we go. So you, yes, you cannot earn boost while you are nitroing. So it, once you start boosting, you can't earn any more boost. But if you have a speed boost, if, you're, if your boost runs out just as you go into a drift, then you can earn like extra boost because you're going extra fast, you see. So the trick is to boost between turns and then to drift through those turns. Kind of like what I did this just there, but I don't think I really did it. My timing was off, but I mean, that's the theory anyway. Um, oh shoot, I pressed the wrong button and it cost me. There's only really three buttons in this game, accelerate, brake, and boost. And I accidentally, instead of pressing the brake button to drift, I pressed the boost button there. I don't know what was going on in my head. I think I was distracted by the fact that I'm already in fourth place, which is a great sign. In the middle of the second lap and we're already killing it. Arr, let's earn some more boost, boys. Let's earn some more boost. All right, ready for nitrous. But more nitrous can be earned. Right here. All right, this looks pretty straight. Boost! Woohoo! Ah, oh, damn it. Hitting the walls in a game like this really gets to you. All right, here's the third place loser. I'm gonna pass this guy in no time flat. He's not even earning any boost. What a failure, man. It's funny because in a game like this, so like in a normal racing game, the car that looks like it's in the most control is usually like the car that's racing well. But in this one, it's like the car that is all over the road, that's like swinging left and right, and like in straightaways even, it looks like he's almost about to crash. That is the car that is number one in this game. It's just kind of funny. Like, you kind of want to look like you're out of control and you're about to crash. That means you're doing well. All right, we're totally boosting here. Close the gap with this guy. Wow, that actually didn't catch him, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. Hello, sir. All right, we're right there. What is the name of the arcade game? It keeps showing in the bottom left corner. Again, I have it written down somewhere because it is a game that I do want to play sometime. Uh, I don't think it's in the Thousand One book, so I, if I do play it, it'll be on my Saturday afternoon gaming series. I have it written down somewhere. I know I recognize it. I just cannot think of the name off the top of my head. Is it like Formula One or something like that? It's basically a maze game where you're racing around trying to collect flags. And there's like a red car that I, I don't know if it's trying to collect flags or it's trying to catch you. Kind of like a Pac-Man style game, but oh God, the third place guy's here. What is happening? Oh, it looks like I'm out of control, but I'm winning. Sort of. How did that guy come out of nowhere? Oh my God. Oh my God. I didn't get first. I didn't even get second. I screwed up. Okay, let's not, I don't even want to watch that replay. Delete that replay. Um, oh my God, we have to retry that. It doesn't let, you have to get in first. <laughs> okay, let's try this one again. I, you know what? I got cocky. I got cocky. I don't know how that happened. I feel like I was racing just as well as I have on the two other tracks. But I guess clearly not. Qualifying first position. Okay, so you have to get first position, basically. Oh, God. I wanted to try and race this one perfectly. Like, never nudge another car. Never hit a corner. You know what probably cost me that race? was when I pressed the wrong button and I just totally drove into the corner of the, the track. Because other than that, I feel like I raced that race fairly flawlessly. I mean, certainly not like at a pro level, you know, like I'm not a pro Ridge Racer player, but I mean, I didn't make any big mistakes. It was only that one. And that, co that did cost me, that did cost me. So I bet if I hadn't have done that, I could have won. Could have won, could have, would have, should have. All right, we are ready for nitrous, but instead we are gonna try and earn more nitrous. There we go, that's the kind of drift you want. Oh, I'm still drifting, still drifting. 
I have never ever in my entire life drifted in real life. Like these, these, you know, tricks that I'm doing with the racing car here and that they show in movies and stuff. I mean, like, I would be terrified if my car started to drift. I don't know if any of you guys, we were like reckless in high school. Maybe you're reckless now, hell, who knows? Or maybe you're stunt drivers. Maybe a large contingency of my audience are Hollywood stunt drivers. Could be. Oh, damn it. Okay, whatever, we're gonna boost past this guy. We're gonna use our boosts effectively today, this time here. Um, but yeah, I don't know if any of you guys have ever drifted a car, but I imagine it's pretty wild. Okay, here we go. Maybe my drifts are too wide. Maybe another thing I'm doing wrong is like I'm kind of drifting too much. I feel like I'm incentivized to drift quite a bit though because I definitely want to earn that uh, sweet, sweet nitro. But maybe it's like the amount of time the nitro gives me when I use it is equivalent to the amount of time I'm wasting by doing, you know, too much drifting. So I don't know, maybe there's like a fine balance in like how much to uh, drift versus nitro. I can't believe I bumped that guy. Totally helped him out. Okay, here we go. We're scooting past him. There we go. Oh, he's like right beside me still. Okay, and we are going for it. This corner is not going to give us too much boost. We need to catch up to the first place guy. All right, this this turns a good one. I feel like I'm like looking at the map, just sort of like trying to judge like the uh, intensity of the turns. Because the bigger the turn, the more the nitro. Oh yeah, here we go, waving at the crowd and boosting. All right, let's catch up to these guys. Okay, there there's the first and second place guy. And I just flew right by them. No, but then I bounced off the wall. Does that cost me the game? I'm gonna be upset. I need, you know what I need is a time rewind mechanic, like in some of the other games we've played that we've seen that I didn't know I had at the time. That's what we need. All right, should we nitrous? Yes. We need to get a bit of distance between us and the guys behind us. And we need to get some distance before this sweet turn. Yes, oh yes, okay. See, I feel like that is almost too much drifting. Like, you don't want to go sideways. Oh, God. You know what? I'm getting too afraid to, like, drift excessively now because I'm in first place. This could, this could hurt me. Okay, there's really no more drift opportunities except this final turn that's coming up. We gotta get at least one more nitro. We gotta use it at the right time to make sure these guys do not beat us. Okay, we have our nitro. Now it's just a matter of using it right now. We got this. They ain't catching us. There we go. There's your first place finish right there from uh, Racing Monster. Racing Monster, also known as Jay. Jay the Unbeatable. All right, we cleared the tour. What did we unlock? Return to the select screen. Yes, I am. All right. Our driver's name is also Zevius. So that's another name. Good race, Zevius. Report your progress. Tour one, initiation. Basic tour two, now available. The drift challenge is available. Driftasia is available. And we have a class two machine. Again, why are they not calling it cars? Are these not cars? Are we racing in mechs? Or like very elaborate boats? Are we in land boats? What's happening here? Maybe they're ground planes. All right. Uh, all right, let's check out our tours. Uh, basic tour. Okay, here are our options. Drift time. So we raced on the seaside route, Crimson Rock Pass and Sunset Drive. So we want to stay away from those and get a bit of variety here. Midtown Express, Diablo Canyon. I like that. And I do want to see this Driftasia thing. Okay, let's give this a try and then we'll give this a try. How about that? What is the Drift Challenge about, I wonder? Um, we'll select this car. This car looks more puny than the car I was using before. It's like a hatchback. 
but who knows? Maybe it's better. I think its name there was a Warp Trooper. I went by pretty quick, but... All right, we got a nighttime urban environment, which is pretty cool. And we're racing through, like, industrial areas. The Warp Trooper. Yeah, that is my car. That's a cool name. All right, one, two, three. I counted backwards. I don't know why. It's interesting how all the, the cars have different speedometers. Like, this one has an analog speedometer, but we had, like, a digital one. Okay, so the Drift Challenge is what exactly like what it looks like just a normal race to me like am i missing something here start earning some some oh god nitro god go I, oh i can't get my car to drift this is a bad sign oh that's pretty fun maybe this is the jump challenge okay here's a hard turn this is what we've been waiting for yeah, there's some nitro. Oh my god. All right, there we go. That was worth it. Okay, let's get a bit more. Oh, I can't. This car sucks. Maybe this car has like a lower top speed or something, but I cannot get it to drift as much. I think I got to start taking my turns wider or something. All right, we got uh, we got a nitro. I need more. I'm addicted to this stuff. Oh god, I need I need wider turns. Okay, there we go. Something at least. Okay, here we go. Here's where you were in the nitro. Oh god, don't hit the wall. All right, that kind of worked. All right, boost. There's nothing but a straightaway here. Let's uh, accelerate up to 193 miles per hour. Holy jeez. Two laps to go, and I'm seventh. This does not bode very well. How is anyone on this track earning boost? Guys, this track sucks. We have a gentleman's agreement just to call it. I'll gladly take first place on this one. Oh, that was a boost. Yeah, all right, now we've earned some boost. Oh, God, I'm sideways, though. All right, let's go for it. Let's use the nitro, man. Use it or lose it, baby. Into the turn! Yeah! Alright, we've... We've kind of earned our keep here. Can we keep this drift going enough to, like, get another boost? Oh, we can't. Alright, well, we're fourth. I learned my lesson last time about trying to, uh... You know, get too greedy with it. Okay, but we do have another nitrous. Shoot, damn it. Okay. Once we do this turn up here, not this turn, but the next turn, then we're going to go full nitrous. There we go. Oh, God. Right into the wall. All right. Go for it. Floor it. Okay. So there's a third place guy. Where the hell is second and first? There are ways up there, actually. All right. Here goes. Let's earn some... And some more nitro here. All right, there's a the second place guy. We did it. We're just a hair away. A hair away. Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's how you do a turn, apparently. Okay, let's go. Floor it. Where is this guy? Don't even see him. God, I think he was nitroing too, actually. Oh, there he is. There he is. All right. Oh, no, no, no! That wasn't good. Oh, I need to fill this one last nitro tank and then just gun it. Or maybe I could just catch him normally, like a gentleman? No, I think I need to cheat. I need that nitro. God damn it. Okay, here's a turn. Oh, we still don't have enough! This goddamn nitro tank! Okay, here we go. This is it. We can earn it. Oh, no! Oh! Got it! I don't... I think we screwed up too much. I think we hit too many walls. Where's the finish line? Oh, we're never gonna catch him. He's boosting, isn't he? Damn. Damn. 
Did we qualify at least? Okay, forget about that. Um, oh, that, that was enough. We didn't have to get first. Okay. Let's do one more. Let's let's go. If we fail at one of these races, we'll just pop over to Drift Asia and take a look at that. Hey, balloons. Balloons and cows. Oh, and lovely, lovely waterfalls. I do feel like I'm racing in a variety of exotic environments. You don't see hot air balloons very often. I gotta say, that is like a niche hobby. I don't know. Who, who flies hot air balloons? Hot air balloon enthusiasts? I guess it's a hobby. Are they business people? Are they running a successful small business out of that balloon? Or are they media people running, you know, advertising or something out of their... Like, like what, what is the... Who flies a hot air balloon? Who even owns a hot air balloon? It must be businesses? I don't know. Again, it's a very sort of niche uh, hobby or whatever you would call it. It's interesting, though. Again, you don't see a lot of hot air balloons these days. Their time has kind of passed. It's like seeing somebody with an Atari in the real world. It's like you just don't really see that, you know? You don't see guys walking around carrying Atari 2600s. Unless you're at like a, you know, flea market or something like that, like a... And then occasionally you might see it, but you don't just see it in the wild. Um, although hot air balloons are even older than Ataris, so... Probably be even more exotic to see one of those. Okay, this car sucks for drifting. I miss my other car. Like, it's really hard to just... My other car drifted so easily. This one just never wants to drift. Okay, here we go. We're gonna earn some drift here, though. We're gonna earn some drift here. There we go. I like what I'm seeing up ahead with, like, the... the twirly part of the road where, like, there's a whole twist and turn. I don't understand the physics of how that's possible. But I will take it. Okay, here we go. Here's the twisty part of the road. God, continue to drift. Stop getting out of the drift. Okay, I guess it's like an underground bridge or something. I slowed down quite a bit by doing all that drifting. Oh, God, we're like ninth. There's no way we're, we're actually uh, placing in this one. Oh, God. Oh, there's the hot air balloons. Oh, my God. I'm just all over the place. Now I can't stop drifting. Okay, here we go. All right, let's boost through this. Every time I see a straightaway, my strategy is just to boost. Wave at the crowd! Blow them kisses! Just enjoy their adoration. All right, we're getting, like, lap records, and yet we're ninth. What does that mean? How are people ahead of us... Ahead of us... When we're literally getting records? Oh, we just blew past that guy. That was, like, all skill. I feel like I'm racing well, but I am somehow sucking. Oh, we just blew past that guy, too. We uh, traded the paint from our bumper onto his car. That's like mar that's a sign of dominance. We're just dominating, dominating that guy. They must all be like bunched up, like seventh through first place. It's like all ahead of me on this like one straightaway up here. Okay, and we've earned a nitrous. Drift! Oh, I feel like I'm just slowing my car down by like braking to try and drift, but all I'm doing is like slowing down. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not getting into the drift, but I am like uh, braking, so it's like I'm slowing my car down. Getting no benefit from it. All right, here we go. Here we go. This is why you don't race, uh, you know, your grandma's hatchback in professional races. <laughs> This is not very good. Hopefully for this race, all we need to do is place in the top nine. If so, we are golden. There we go. This is a, I like that turn. It's funny, most racing games, I don't like extreme turns because that's where I always screw up, but it's like this is the one game where you're supposed to like it. And I do like it. Okay, here we go. Trying to earn some drift. That kind of worked, actually. 
Oh, there we go. That worked. All right, boost. Straight away. How am I not seeing any other drivers? This is insane. I did even faster on that lap. I'm getting lap records. Crazy. It'd be good to get into the top five, the guy just said to me. It's kind of a hint. Oh, God damn it. Okay, well, here's this guy. We can totally pass him. So we're in the top five. Top three, I don't even know. I, it depends on if I can even see the fourth place guy. If I can't see him after a turn or two, I think we're done. Like, we're just, you know, we're not going to see these guys. It could be miles ahead of us. For all I know. I feel like that, that guy in first place has raced very well. I have not been able to make any progress getting closer to him. It's impressive, actually. The CPU is getting better. Maybe I was not supposed to select this car and I'm racing with, like, a huge handicap or something like that. We got to earn some boost, man. Oh, God. I, I can't even force it. Oh, I just want this red tank to fill. All right, there we go. We got the, the red tank. That's something. Oh, that was a sweet, sweet uh, drift. Okay, here we go. Get some drift here. Get some drift here. Okay. Trying to drift continuously around this turn. Can I get the yellow tank? Oh no! Oh, my, my excessive drifting cost me a place two places! Oh no, I'm not even going fast enough to drift. Oh, this is horrible. Alright, just boost. Uh, okay, so there is a trade-off. If you do try and drift too much... Oh, you, you dicks, you're boxing me out! If you do try and drift too much, you just slow yourself down and lose places. Okay, here we go. We're earning this yellow tank, though. And then we are catching up to these guys. Damn it. Oh, so we didn't drift around that entire corner. All right. Can we at least pass these two guys? I threw away my top five, by the way. Oh, what a failure. What a failure that was. Let's just drift our way to depression. All right, so we failed. Um, what I would say is, uh, let's just get out of this race. Let's get out of this whole world world tour. We just get on a plane and don't even show up for the third race. That's us flying away. They're like, where's where's Racing Monster? I thought he was going to race. And it's just like, nope, it's too embarrassing. Screwed up too bad. All right, let's try uh, one more here. So we did the drift challenge. Well, we showed up for it and then abandoned it halfway through. Let's try Driftasia here. I want to see what it is like. Oh, man, I do not want that car. I hate that car. Is, can I not select Class 1 vehicles? I feel like my Class 1 is better than that car. I guess we're stuck with it, though. All right. Get ready to race. Oh, there's a... Okay, a water based biplane where are we in the world hot air balloons water base <laughs> water based biplanes I mean where are we also there's like skyscrapers and ultra futuristic buildings and we're like driving through a building right there we're in like the most technologically sophisticated and 19th century throwbacky places of all time, apparently. Okay, we earned some nice drift there. So for Driftasia, maybe it just means like it's a drifting dream and you're just going to earn so much drift that you won't know what to do with it or something. I don't 100% know. Also... I have learned from my previous race not to try and overdrift. So, you know, on corners where you can drift, break, but on ones where you don't need to, don't bother. Because braking does slow you down, and you basically don't want that. 
So I think that's the reason that I lost that last race. I was trying to get way too much nitrous. And this this level is going to be actually pretty hard to know like when to use uh, my nitrous. Okay, maybe here? I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Oh, God! Okay, well, that could have been a lot worse. <gasps> okay, didn't drift. Didn't drift there either. I'm still getting, like, a feel for the drifting, so half the time, I think when I'm trying to drift, I'm just slowing myself down for no reason. So I guess therein lies the ultimate skill, is to, like, ultimately when you play this game, understand, like, when to drift, whoa, when not to, and so on. We're gonna do our best, though, to place this time. Oh, God. Ugh. See, like, I just braked around that corner. I didn't even drift at all. That was actually kind of annoying. Because that was a sweet corner for drifting. Oh, this is too much. Damn it. Okay, we don't even have a uh, single nitro to use here. Oh, now we do. Let's do it. Waving at all the people. All my adoring fans. Course record. Okay, so we've climbed five places. How do we do this? We climbed five places in one lap. So if we climb five more in this lap, we're golden. Because then we only need to climb two more. Holy jeez. The game was definitely pulling me onto the track there. Um, but that, yeah, then we only need to place to climb two more to get first. So let's see how this goes. Can we get to second place by the end of this lap? Try not to overdrift. There we go. Oh, geez. I guess knowing like where in the turn to drift to is uh, advantageous. All right, let's just nitrous. Oh God, oh God. Oh God, ugh. All right, we climbed two spots so far. Not the best, but better than nothing. Oh my God, holy jeez. Didn't mean to drift that much. I'm still drifting though. I am still in it. How did that not earn a full nitrous tank? I'm still in it, jeez. I just drifted my way through like half the track. Okay, nitrous. Oh, there's the fourth place guy. Okay, yo God. Yeah, the game definitely pulls you onto the track when you're drifting. Cause there's some times where my car is like literally facing the outside of a turn and for some reason, it's still going around the turn. That is the game being very generous. Oh, God. Turn! There we go. All right, we got to fourth. Okay, so my question was, could I get to second place in the previous lap? And I didn't do it. I went from seventh to fourth. So I feel like that means if I can get to second then I'm doing okay. Because there's like diminishing returns here, there seems to be. We got a nitro. When do we want to use it is the question. Oh, God. Okay, we'll use it after this turn here. Oh, jeez. Or we'll use it after this big turn here. This is a big one. Maybe we can earn two nitros. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, jeez. Okay, here we go. Drifting. Drifting. Braking for no reason. Drifting. And we did not even come close to earning a second nitro. Okay, we're not going to boost just yet. We're not ready. Oh, God. Uh, we that, that just throws it away. There's no way. All right, let's just nitro to try and make up for some lost time here. Oh, God. Man, this car sucks! I hate this car! This car's the worst. 
Alright. I don't even think we can get second anymore. We keep screwing up. What is happening? I'm facing like the wrong way of a turn. Oh god. Okay, I'm going to... Hey, there's like a plane flying around out there. He's like doing a, an air show for us. See, that's the problem. I'm getting too distracted by the awesome air show. It has nothing to do with my driving abilities. Look at that. He's like trying to like crop dust the racers or something. Okay, here we go. Oh god. Oh god. That was a nice drift. Seriously, where are the guys ahead of me? This game, th this is crazy actually. The uh, everything other than the introductory race, it's like the first, second, third, and fourth place guys are just like miles ahead. I have to earn another thing here. All right, boost. Like I, I don't even see them. There's no. There really was no point in doing that. Disqualified. DNF. All right, we don't need to watch that replay. All right, so I thought I was okay at drifting. Turns out I suck. Not that surprising. I want to end feeling good about myself, though, which means forget about these world tours. Let's go into a single race here. Where do we want to race? Union Hill District, Crimson Rock Pass. How about Green Peak Highlands? And we're going to select this car because it didn't do us wrong. In fact, actually, it is slower than my other car. So I don't know why this one drifted better. Maybe the race was just easier. I don't know. Anyway, um, Ridge Racer here. Or Ridge Racers, I should say. Again, that's only the Japanese title. The rest of the world, it's Ridge Racer. I don't get why they call it Ridge Racer. I did not come up with an original title. But anyway, uh... Ridge Racer here on the PSP is one of the games in the book. A thousand video games you must play before you die. I think as far as racing games go, I like it. It's a solid racer. The drifting mechanic is kind of fun. I am not... I Like, I clearly still don't understand when to use it uh, versus when to use the Nitro. So, obviously, you know, if you were to get into this game, there's a bit of a learning curve to go through here in terms of, like... Uh, you know, just drifting constantly is actually not good. Drifting is relatively easy to do in this game, but it's not always good. And probably timing your drifts perfectly and getting out of them right as soon as you can might be the most advantageous thing you can do. So, yeah, it's a cool cool racing game. Uh, has an interesting mechanic, so it's not just a typical racer because this drifting thing does add, like, a lot of strategy to the game about when to drift and how much, and then, like, you balance that with the nitro that you're earning... So, yeah, it's kind of interesting. I wouldn't want every racer to be like this, of course. I, uh, you know, the drifting thing is cool, but at the same time, you know, I it, it's, it does make it sort of a, it, a unique beast um, in terms of racers. And I do like just standard racers as well. So, yeah, kind of an interesting game. If you like Ridge Racer as a series and you've played Ridge Racer and you've played Ridge Racer, but you haven't played Ridge Racer, then you might want to check out Ridge Racer, because it is a decent game. Anyway, guys, what do you think of Ridge Racer here for the PSP? Remember the 2004 version, not the 91 or 2011 uh, version? Um, what do you guys think of this game here? Is it a game that you yourself played? Is it a game you have fond memories of? Let me know in the comments down below. And uh, as always, whether you enjoyed the game or not today, hopefully I made today entertaining. Hopefully you liked watching me struggle and ultimately fail. If that is the case, don't forget to like the video and all that stuff. I will be back soon with another video, another game. And until we meet again, guys, you all take care of yourselves. Peace. You heard this gaming J guy's a psycho.